Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Lovable Lunatic Lounge. It is me, Eddie B. Eddie Easy in the house. I, I just want to take some time to tell y'all that we all have bad days in addiction and depression. You are never alone. I, I am going to do, I, my voice sucks. I apologize. I am going to do a song that speaks volumes to me. One of my favorite songs of all time by one of my favorite musicians, Mr. Corey Taylor who you would know from Stone Sour and Slipknot. This song in particular is from Stone Sour. It's called Through the Glass. So bear with me and on afterwards I will speak on how it speaks to addiction to me. I said I'm looking at you through the glass and I don't know how much time has passed. Oh God, it feels like forever And no one ever tells you this forever feels like home Sitting all alone inside your head I said, how, how do you feel? That is the question But I forget you don't expect that easy answer when something like a soul becomes initialized and folded up like paper dolls and little notes, you can't expect the bit of folks. So while you're outside looking in, describing what you see, remember what you're staring at is me. Cause I'm looking at you through the glass. I don't know how much time has passed. All I know is that it feels like forever. And no one ever tells you that forever feels like home Sitting all alone inside your head Said how much is real, <laughs> so much to question An epidemic of these mannequins Fucking contaminating everything We all came from the heart Shit it never did right from the start Said, listen to the noises, null and void, sad voices for you tell yourself. It's just a different scene. Remember, it's just different from what you see. Come on, I'm looking at you through the glass. I don't know how much time has passed. All I know is that it feels like forever. And no one ever tells you that forever feels like home. Sitting all alone inside your head And it's the stars The stars They shine for you, baby And it's the stars The stars They lie to you As I'm looking at you through the glass how much time has passed Oh God, it feels like forever And no one ever tells you This forever feels like home Sitting all alone inside your head Yes, it's the stars The stars They lie to you but baby, do the stars, the stars, they'll shine for you, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the stars, oh, and these stars, they lie, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, I have a shitty voice. I do apologize for that. Um, let's keep going here. The significance in that for me is the fact that I've seen so many people have bad days today. I woke up with a bad day with that attitude. I was going to say no. Isolation, deep realization, detachment from reality. You know what that shit is, man? That's my fucking addiction. Telling me the longer I isolate, the shorter and sneakier that addiction creeps up it's doing jumping jacks it's waving at me all the shit it sends through the glass all them bad memories the memories for me of my fiance killing herself that girl out there that don't fucking want me for who i am that motherfucker that burnt me for six hundred dollars man that dude that i thought was my best motherfucking friend stabbing me in the back over a woman that dude that robbed me for two ounces of fucking meth 
because I'm the little guy, because I, I'm not allowed to have good things in life, because I'm too fucking small. Little do they know, my heart's bigger than their fucking brain will ever be. Any of that shit. I can overcome, rise above, defeat it, and destroy it. So I see addiction through that glass right now. And like Stone Cold Steve Austin, I'm telling that shit. Yeah, you might say the Rock, go back to the 1997 Royal Rumble pro wrestling bus when Bret Hart's music hit, the Rumble that Stone Cold went on to win. Um, that's not important, but yeah. I'm looking my addiction square in the face through that glass. All the night tears, all the bad flashbacks and memories, all the times that it feels like my he's trying to turn my friends against me because I'm using that evil spirit because Eddie wants sex. Eddie wants to think he's not good enough. Eddie wants to fucking think he's still fucking worthless. <laughs> I ain't better than nobody. I have flaws too. But here's me staring at my addiction, waiting for it to spin around. Bam! Hitting that bitch with a stunner. You know why? Because I don't stare at the glass anymore. I watch that glass shatter. I break down that fucking glass. I destroy it because it's an obstacle in my way. I don't care what stands in my way anymore. I'm not letting it defeat me and deteriorate the character that I have built and went to mountains and lengths to grow and swim to people aren't gonna like me people aren't gonna cater to me because i'm having a bad day they're not to you either you know what my best advice is for myself and you fuck them are you here for them or are you here for you i don't care if it's your girlfriend i don't care if it's your husband i don't care if it's big booty judy that you want to the uh, rail in the back with your fucking two inch hammer meanwhile she's getting nailed by the dude with a sledgehammer for a penis and that makes you mad because you two were kind of friends and now he's hitting that so now your friendship's on the yo man fuck all of that dumb shit all these people died to this epidemic i'm sick of it I'm seeing people I love go back out on these streets. Well, I'm still here. I ain't nobody. I ain't better than any of y'all. But each day I grow because I progress. I don't practice perfection. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> Hell, I'm not your model citizen, but I know I won't be molded I won't be controlled. I won't be mushed into what society and this fucking public marketing ploy wants me to be. So are you going to be that? Because what I see, you are good enough for you. Even if who I am, even if who I am isn't good enough for you, as long as you're good enough for you, I'll respect it. You can go fuck yourself if you don't see the best in me. And I'd expect you to say the same if I don't see it in you too, boo-boo. But we're not here for each other. We're here for ourselves as individuals. Do you want to get right? Or do you want to fucking die because of this epidemic? Because of this poison? This fucking bullshit? Get serious. Get real. There's times to joke. There's times we can sit around and laugh and make model airplanes. And, you know? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. This is our lives. You're going to let somebody play with your emotions like a fucking dildo? <laughs> you're going to end up just what you're getting fucked by in the end. Plastic. You know? Um, so what that girl don't want you? Maybe she's been corrupted too long at that fucking um, uh, women's house she's in. And now she bats for the other team. You know? A lot of us dudes have that same thing. But I don't see us stripping down to our fucking boxer shorts, cuddling each other in bed at night. That's just the way it is, man. Women like to do different things. So what? Is that really affecting you? Because if it is, you need to ask yourself, why the fuck you're here? Are you here to save your life? 
Are you here because you're sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you here to grow and help people? Are you here to make people like you? I love myself today. And because of that, I have grew this bond with people that whether they talk to me on a daily or not, they got to admit it's respect and props they give me today. I've been medicated, self-hated, never related, uneducated, couldn't take, as far as life, I couldn't take it. Now I'm, I embrace with every obstacle I face, face with, deal with all confrontation. I don't care if my name keeps coming up in your little stupid conversation. Oh, he's pathetic. He's something he's not. He rambles too much. I hate him. I'm going to take him off my friends list. I laugh when y'all are complaining because that means I'm doing something right. Maybe that's cocky. Maybe it's arrogance. Maybe it's just knowing my worth today. What I'm trying to get at is we get upset too easily over what other people do. Say it with me. Powerlessness. Are you still unmanageable? Because if you're not, if you have some manageability, you will manage the f and process the fact that you are your own fucking person and you can only control what you do, boo-boo. Stop getting upset over shit you can't fix. You're not Captain save a -Hull. You're Captain Save Yourself. So put your cape on, Supergirl. Put your cape on, Superman. Put your cape on, Super Sweetie. Let that smile shine because it's one of the brightest stars in the sunlight. Outside of the sunlight, I should say. I love y'all. And I hope you hear this message for what it is. Peace. Don't forget to like, to spread awareness. Share to get your friends involved. Subscribe to stay notified. I'm Eddie Easy. This has been another episode of the Lovable Lunatic Lounge. And I'll see you guys again soon.